and greeting saints of the Most High, and welcome to the Messianic Torah Observer. I'm Rod Thomas, and today is July the 28th, 2023, and I'm coming to you. By the time this is posted, it is a balmy, sizzling Shabbat, but it's a beautiful Shabbat here in the DFW, and I want to welcome you. And I wanted to get this posted. Um, I wanted to share this update to the Messianic Tour Observers Ministry before sundown hit today on Friday the 28th, the sixth day, preparation day. And I wanted to give you sort of where we are in terms of whether we're bringing the Messianic Tour Observer podcast program also featured on YouTube, back or if it's really a done deal where it's been put away and never to be, never to see the light of day again. Um, those of you who've been with us at any for any length of time will probably know that we brought the Messianic Torah Observer to a a close. We ended the program in November of last year, 2022. At that time, I wasn't quite sure whether or not we would be coming back with the program or not. I wasn't sure what we were doing. I wasn't sure where Father, where the Spirit was leading me at the time. I I was really struggling with a few things. During the fall feast of 2022, I was struggling with a couple of faith issues. Now, before you you get to some, you arrive at some conclusions that aren't really accurate, let me just say it wasn't any problem with me falling into sin or wasn't any having anything to do with problems in the family or anything far, far from it. This was me dealing with Faith issues about, am I fulfilling the purpose that Father has placed on my heart and on my shoulders to do? Is the Messianic Torah Observer a fulfillment of that purpose? Am I fulfilling the purpose that was meant for the Messianic Torah Observer? More so, am I fulfilling the purpose that Father has for me. So we, and, and there was a couple other things that I'll talk about in just a minute about the, about why we brought the program to an end. But before we go into why, the whys, let me give you a little bit of history of the Messianic Tour Observer. The Messianic Tour Observer podcast program is a ministry of Qumran Family Church. Now, before you lose it, because I, it's a a church, a church. Yeah, we, Hillary and I began or founded Qumran Family Church in 2012. At the time when we founded Qumran Family Church, we didn't really realize that church in many areas of the Messianic faith is a bad word. But, we, we went ahead because we were led to begin a fellowship. We, did, we weren't using the term fellowship at the time. We were using the term church because we believe Father was leading us to establish a church in Southern California. So we established it in 2012. We went through the motions of setting up accounts for it and getting an EIN number, all these wonderful things that you do when you're establishing it. And so from that, a few uh, things happened with the, with the church, <laughs> the ministry. Let's just call it a ministry. Let's just call it fellowshipping and that type of thing for if it's upsetting anybody because of the church. But we've not changed the name because it's really not anything we're interested in going through all those permutations to alter the name. Kumar Family Church has been around since for 10 years, and we're not ready to change it. We've gone full circle, and we're, we're fine with the name Kumar Family Church. Established in 2012, 
we, through Coomer Family Church, led a couple iterations, I think it may be upwards of three iterations, of a home fellowship that we were looking at it growing and expanding out to maybe a brick and mortar type of assembly or church at the time. The fellowships were flourishing for a while, but like anything else, people grow out. And that's not a good word to use that they grow out. It's just that they decide to do something different. We had a great dynamic group starting out or groups when we start out. And then they just kind of just fizzle out because people have differences of, uh, they grow differently in, in terms of their perspectives on things, and they, in, in, <laughs> they have the itchy ear syndrome. They, they find other avenues and other fellowships and other venues that they're more drawn to, and things just kind of always fizzled out on those iterations. But in the midst of these fellowships, Hillary and I were, became very active in blogging about that same time. And then two years later, I began the Messianic Tour Observer. Hillary began It's Not As You Perceive podcast. In between those, Hillary and I would swap and do each other's programs. And at one point, we were posting both of our podcast and on each other's websites. It's not as you perceive.com and the messianic tour observer.org. And so over time, her ministry under Coomer Family Church started to move towards discipleship emphasis. And that's one thing I will say about Hillary, her ministry kind of really did the right thing. It started to really drill down into a niche. It really found its purpose, and that purpose was founded in discipleship. Even to this day, her ministry is focused on discipling, making disciples for Yeshua. And if you're interested in discipleship training, I would encourage you to go over to the website. It's not as you perceive Dot com. It's not as you perceive dot com and pre-register for her training program. Her it's called INAYP Biblical Discipleship Training. INAYP. It's not as you perceive the uh, letters for that. Biblical discipleship training. It's a mouthful. I always stumble upon it, but that's the way it works. But getting back to the Messianic Tour Observer, and that's what we're here to talk about. Um, the Messianic Tour Observer, however, took on the moniker of encouraging you in righteous living while contending for the true faith once delivered. And at the time, I thought we're moving in the right direction. This is the direction that Father wants me to go with this ministry, this, this arm of the ministry, this part of Coomer Family Church that is an online ministry, a podcast ministry, as we were working all these other angles in the QFC umbrella of ministry. So we're doing this, with the, but over time... And leading up to just recently in November of 2022, actually a little before that, I kind of saw that we were heading in a direction that was kind of nebulous. I really wasn't focused on any kind of niche with a Messianic Tour observer. And, and then one thing that's important in covenant relationship with the Creator in the Almighty. And in our Messianic faith is realizing our purpose, coming to terms with the purpose. And I'll talk about purpose in just a moment. Along with the podcast, which began in 2014, the Messianic Tour Observer, I was also involved with a couple of other groups that we kind of merged the Cumron Family Church 
in with this group. We kind of were in affiliation with the, a group called the Feast Keepers that was headquartered out. It was a group, uh, an assembly, a fellowship, if you will, headquartered out of upper area of New York. It wasn't New York City and it wasn't upstate New York. I'm not very familiar with New York. I've been to New York two times in my life and I'm not very familiar with it, but somewhere up in that northern part of New York, outside of New York City, and that was the Feast Keepers group. You may have heard me speak about that if you've been with us at any length of time. I've also posted many of the sermons or many of the teachings I've, I did with Feast Keepers, as well as I was, I led uh, the group uh, called First Century Church of God that's headquartered out of Baltimore, Maryland. We were affiliated with that group before, a year before Feast Keepers. So we, we were pretty busy. We were very busy and active in ministry uh, and keeping the podcast and the YouTube channel going and trying to you know, keep content moving while at the same time preparing for Sabbath teachings and things of that nature. Um, and fellowships on top of that, it was busy. But getting back to why, well, let me just say the Feast Keepers and the First Century Church of God affiliation dissolved. <laughs> like anything else in our faith, things have a shelf life. And those opportunities kind of fizzled out. Um, I know First Century is ongoing now with their new pastor. Uh, I kind of was serving at the time as a pastor until they got their new pastor in. And that pastor started, I believe, in... I left in 2020, early part of 2012. Well, no, I take that back. Yes, early part of 2020. And I think the pastor that is there now came in sometime right around that period of time. Don't hold me to it, but I think so. My dates may be fuzzy. Um, and then uh, the Feast Keepers, I was with them through 2019, through the first part of 2020. And I left that organization. Feast Keepers can't continued on with their, with their pastor for a while, their present pastor for a while, but... I believe, having spoken to the pastor just last week, that uh, that organization has kind of faded out and is no longer active. So getting back to the podcast, the Messianic Tour Observer, which is the whole point of why we're here, it's the whole question of where, was I fulfilling the purpose that Father had for me, especially in terms of the Messianic Torah Observer podcast. Paul writes in Romans chapter 8, verse 28, we know that for those who love Elohim, all things work together for good. For those who are called according to his purpose. That is the key word here, purpose. Was I fulfilling the purpose that Father had for me And I, was I fulfilling that purpose through the Messianic Tour Observer? And in the fall of 2022, during the fall feast, I wasn't sure. I, 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 had, I really wasn't sure. At one point I was, but now I wasn't sure anymore. Why did I have this hiccup of faith? I'm really not sure, but the spirit was moving. The Spirit was moving in my life. Wonderful things were going fine in our home. Everything is wonderful, but I, I just had this uneasiness whether or not I was fulfilling the purpose that Father had for me. The other thing was, was I following the commandment of our master, Yehoshua Hamashiach, Yeshua Messiah, when he said, go into all the, all the world and make disciples for me, teaching them 
all the things that I've taught you, was I fulfilling that mandate through QFC and through the Messianic Tour Observer? I wasn't sure. I made some efforts toward that end, but I really wasn't sure if I was actually fulfilling that mandate. And the other thing is this. In the fall, no, not, not, not the fall, the spring, <laughs> Passover of 2022, I was invited to deliver a message to the Huntsville Church of God here in Texas. And I delivered the message that Father laid on my heart. And little did I know that that message, the substance of that message, the content of that message, the force behind that message would haunt me for months to come throughout the remainder, the duration of 2022. And that had to do with Matthew chapter 5, verse 20. And that is part and parcel, this verse is part and parcel of the Sermon on the Mount. And in this portion of the Sermon on the Mount, Yeshua says to his disciples, for I tell you, unless your righteousness, your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and the Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. In that message at Huntsville, the title of my two-part teaching was the exceeding righteousness that takes us from Pesach to Tabernacles. And if you've not listened to and read that message, I would encourage you, I would humbly invite you to go ahead on over here on the Messianic Tour Observer. Just type in the exceeding righteousness that takes us so far, and you will come across that teaching. And it awakened in me the question, was I, was my righteousness exceeding that of the scribes and Pharisees? And was I qualified to enter and receive the kingdom of Yah, the Malchut Elohim? I believed I, I was, but was I practicing, was I walking in a righteousness that exceeded the scribes and Pharisees? And was I teaching this critical, essential principle of the exceeding righteousness that takes us to the kingdom of Yah. Turns out I really wasn't teaching it as much as I should. So these elements of purpose, discipleship, making disciples, and exceeding righteousness, teaching people about the exceeding righteousness that takes them, that makes them qualified for the kingdom, were the questions that haunted me and caused me to put the brakes on the Messianic Tour Observer until I can figure out what I'm supposed to do with these issues in relation to the Messianic Tour Observer. And it turns out that in the interim since November of 2022, to the, toward the springtime of this year, 2023, I determined, yeah, I need, to, I need to fulfill the, I need to drill down on the purpose of the Messianic Tour Observer. I need to start discipling people. We need to really have the Messianic Tour Observer focus on discipleship, making disciples, evangelism, if you like, to some extent. How that actually will look, I'm not entirely sure, but we're, gonna, we're looking to the Father to kind of reveal that to us, as well as teaching the gospel of the kingdom, the gospel that teaches of the exceeding righteousness that takes us from Pesach, 
Passover to Sukkot, tabernacles. Because, beloved, we're living in dark times. Nobody needs to really inform you of that. If you are, if you have two brain cells functioning in your head, in any of our heads, we can see all around us that, my goodness, we are in the end times. And there is an emergency out there to get ready for the coming kingdom because the night comes and no man can work. So we're on borrowed time right now. And I am haunted by the possibility that I, don't, I may not have enough time to get the work that needs to get done, done. Fulfilling the purpose, discipling, and teaching about the exceeding righteousness, those principles that get us to or get us into the kingdom. And that's what, when we bring the Messianic Torah observer back, is what we're going to be focused on. Fulfilling our purpose, discipleship, making sure we make disciples, and teaching about the righteous, the righteousness that gets us into the kingdom. So what have we been doing since November of 2022 in preparation for this? Well, we've kept the Messianic Tour Observer.org going through weekly blogs, um, thoughts and reflections on the weekly tour portions or the weekly tour readings, the parses. And we've been doing that for the most part. We've missed a few weeks and we've done some other things, some other um, postings as well. In the last however many months we're talking about here, the last seven months or so, and if you've been following us and checking in on the website, you probably would have seen those postings. I've done a couple of audio recordings and posts since then. Oh, by the way, this is our new studio. This will be our new studio for the upcoming Messianic Tour Observer show, which we will, we've, we've invested in video now and we're, we're working on, it's still a mess in here. I'm still <laughs> trying to get this place ready. Um, we've invested in some new equipment and um, software to try to get to that end. So we are gearing up technologically um, to get ready for this great resurgence, the bringing the Messianic Tour Observer back to fulfill its purpose and discipleship and teaching the exceeding righteousness that takes us to the Malchut Elohim, the kingdom of Yah. And we've been working on a book, really a series of books that will address this purpose, this exceeding righteousness. And from those books, we will be launching many of the teachings that will come forth from the Messianic Tour Observer. And it's been a schlog. It's been a gosh. I never, I, I've always said I have no desire to write a book per se, but I knew that the Father was leading us into, or leading me, I should say, into writing a book. Um, to that end, and I hopefully, if uh, things go as planned, we will have this book completed in uh, by the time of the fall feast, maybe a little after. It just depends on how things go in that realm. We've been restructuring the website with new content to kind of refocus um, the, where we're heading with the ministry. And we've been interceding, we've been kind of praying and fasting and meditating on where Father wants to take us with this new direction that we're taking the Messianic Tour Observer. So we're certainly uh, haven't been allowing the grass to grow under us over the course of these seven months. So we're going to resume the Messianic Tour Observer podcast that podcast arm of the Coomer Family Church with these 
elements in mind that we've been talking about. Time frame, we're hoping, uh, but it's all in Father's hands, to relaunch the Messianic Tour Observer sometime around the fall feast of this year. I'd love to have it launched at the same time we launch this new book or booklet. It's going to be a series of books. Um, the first book that we're hoping to finish, I'm just about wrapping up the research aspect of that book and then actually putting it together, writing it, editing it, and getting it published. That's the next few steps. Um, kind of falling behind schedule-wise, but we may bring the podcast back earlier than the book is launched, but we will see how Father takes us. If it is within his will, we will. our aim is the fall feast area or point of time. So that's what's coming up. Uh, we, bottom line is we are bringing the Messianic Torah Observer back with a new focus. And we are excited about what Father is going to do, especially in these last days that we're living. I think it's, it's in such, the world is in such shambles right now that I cannot but do what the Father is leading me to do. And I'm really looking forward to these teachings that Father has been dealing with me and training me and gearing me up and preparing me for this, this new direction of the Messianic Torah Observer. And I'm excited for you, if Yah's willing and you have a willing heart and mind to come alongside us on this journey. And it's going to be quite a journey. And uh, as we get closer, I'll be making some more announcements. And um, we will, this is the first announcement. And hopefully I'll be back with a new report as we get closer to our relaunch date. So with that, that's all I really wanted to kind of fill you in on. And I hope and pray that you and your families and fellowships are well and blessed. And that you have a warm and, well, warm is probably not the best way to say it. You have a meaningful and overcoming Shabbat. Shavuot Tov. Take care, fellow saints in training.